Has your dog not been behaving like himself of late? Is he not eating, sulking in a corner, not interested in his regular activities? Are you worried that your dog might be suffering from a case of depression? And yes, dog depression is a thing for those who are wondering. Well, if your dog is displaying any such signs, then you're in the right place. Let's get to it. Welcome back to The Happy Purpose. I am Dr. Shruti Bhattacharya, author and owner of thehappypurpose.com, your one-stop destination regarding everything that is dog care, psychology, training related. If you want to check out the blog, the link will be there in the description. But in today's video, what I am discussing is 10 signs of dog depression. Now, if your pup is showing more than five of these signs, then you should definitely take him to the vet and get him diagnosed. If he's not showing five signs, but you are still suspecting that he may be suffering from a case of depression after uh, watching this video, then please do not delay in taking your dog to the vet. Now, before I get into the 10 points, I would like to sincerely request you to please hit that like button, the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, set it to all so that YouTube notifies you every time a new video releases from the happy puppers. And with that, let's get into it. Point number one changes in eating habits now it can either be a disinterest in treats disinterest in regular food just disinterest in overall eating itself like not eating at all being very lethargic or just not eating their treats which they loved till like a few days back or wants the food to be extremely yummy like out of the world yummy only then will eat as I said, it has to be a culmination of a few symptoms for you to even uh, think to take your dog to the vet. If it's if your dog is only showing an appetite change sign, it could also be because of some medical emergency that's going on which needs to be treated. So whatever you suspect, first take your pup to the vet and get your pup checked as soon as possible. Now, as I said, the point one was changes in eating habits. Point two, lack of interest in play. Now, if your dog is not playing, then that's a huge, huge, huge red flag. Dogs love playing. They love jumping up, down, doing zoomies. And if your dog who was doing zoomies still a couple of days back is suddenly being lethargic and sulking in a corner and or under the bed and not wanting to come out. And if you try to get him out and he's being aggressive towards you, like growling or just showing signs of like, leave me alone, just let me be. It could be depression. It could also be that your dog is suffering from some ailments. So... Whatever it is, if your dog is showing such signs, then take him to the vet as soon as possible. Point number three, sleeping excessively. Just like humans, when dogs have depression, they can either, they can start to just sleep, sleep and sleep. So when they are not in their, not feeling their best, they may feel fatigued and this tiredness can cause them to fall asleep. Humans have insomnia and or excessive sleeping. In case of dogs, it's mostly excessive sleeping. So they'll just be sleeping all day long, not feeling like eating, very lethargic behavior. Then uh, changes in grooming habits. If you notice these, then you should not take it lightly. Next point, withdrawal from social interaction. Now, if your puppy was someone who loves going out is very outgoing loves making friends you know goes to the dog park and has so much of fun and now suddenly if a dog approaches him or her and he or she's growling or being aggressive towards the dog or just saying that you know leave me alone just let me be and not being their usual self in social setting then that's a huge red flag changes in grooming habits a grooming habit of your dog can tell you a lot about their mental state now, unless your dog is a beast and cannot, you know, groom himself, usually they will try to groom themselves. Now, if they stop grooming suddenly and are just sleeping but not engaging in their regular behavior or activities, that's another red flag that you should take into account. Next point, destructive behavior. If your dog is depressed, then a dog who has never chewed on furniture may suddenly start doing so. They are looking for a way out for their frustration and chewing helps them relieve 
that stress and if they're feeling anxious then chewing helps them relieve the anxiety which in turn may give rise to destructive behavior so if suddenly your dog of all of these years who never chewed on anything is uh, chewing on everything and frequently chewing then please 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 do not take it lightly next point unexplained weight gain or weight loss if your dog suddenly is losing weight like steadily despite of eating that's a huge red flag or if your dog is suddenly gaining weight despite of eating the same portion that he was eating before but now because he's being lethargic there's a lack of exercise he's not being himself he's suddenly starting to gain weight that is also a sign of depression next point excessive vocalization if you're always like a quiet dog like delta i have delta he's pretty quiet he doesn't like to vocalize a lot if he suddenly goes oh whoa whoa throughout the day that would be a huge red flag for me basically the point is change in behavior an abrupt and excessive change in behavior next point avoidance of eye contact if your dog is feeling sad he won't look at you because when dogs look at you and they give you that prolonged soulful stare that means they love you that's their way of telling you that you know i love you and i'm always going to be there for you and if you notice that your dog in the past few days has avoided eye contact even if you look at your dog your dog tries to pry his or her eyes away and just go and be in a corner or make himself small or something like that then that's not something you should disregard by any means last point seeking solitude as i mentioned before your dog doesn't want to do anything with you or with any other dogs in the house or with any other animals in the house so he just wants to be by himself in some corner of the room and doesn't want to interact with anyone huge 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 red flag now if you notice these what are you supposed to do you should take your dog to the vet because these symptoms even though they are symptoms of dog depression they can also be symptoms of your dog suffering from something that may in turn cause depression now if you have a stomach bug or if your stomach is hurting if you've got a tummy ache you obviously won't feel like socializing now right it's the same with dogs if there is an illness they're not feeling well they will want to be left alone and they will not want to interact and they will not feel like but even they may not have appetite and they may sleep too much because sleeping is the only way they are not feeling the pain so the first thing for that you must do if you suspect your dog has depression is take your dog to the vet and get checked Now if physically your dog gets a clean bill of health then it's emotional it's a mental issue it's an emotional issue and then you can get working on your dog provide him more you time provide him more bonding time interact with him separately find out games that he's truly interested in use those take him to new places like do things that your dog loves and do them more frequently so I hope no one ever has to face this but there are times that we do and because of that I had to make this video. I wish you a wonderful day with your pup and well this is about this one if you haven't liked and subscribed yet please 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 do so now and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a wonderful day with your dog. Goodbye.